Was Pat Benatar actually right when she said, love is a battlefield? I, for one, sometimes get the, are you trans? So online dating can be really harsh and that's what people are having to face. Heartache to heartache, we stand. <laughs> you know what, I live by the thumper rule. If you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I'm like, okay. I get it. I like my wigs. I love my makeup. I definitely put on my mental armour because you just don't know what you're going to get when you're out there. I was having to take major chill pills over those people coming out with, oh, are you trans in the first two sentences? But you know what? I wouldn't offer them a pill because pills aren't going to fix what's wrong with them. People are complex. Relationships are volatile. It's a jungle out there. And I've seen lady boys who are prettier than most girls out there. It's a jungle out there without a doubt. You know, we put on our invisible bulletproof vest. We've got to protect our hearts. I think tactful questioning about my inclinations would reveal whether I'm a trans or not without having to directly just come out with it in the first two sentences of ever meeting me as a perfect stranger. Look at that guy over there. I can never make sense of what he's saying. He's absolutely bonkers. I'm not going anywhere near him. Oh, that one. Laughs like a loony, must have a few screws loose. There's no way I'm talking to them. And that one over there, always sad. I'm just gonna let them sulk in the corner. If we were to live like that, with plastic wrap around us, we'd never learn anything. Because sometimes those experiences where you can help people who are going through difficult times might actually help you as well to develop. But where do you draw the line? That's the question. It's so hard not to judge people on first impressions. How long does it take to work out that the person you are slowly falling in love with is actually a total internet troll, okay?